Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 16 of how I organize a digital marketing strategy. Now, this week, or well, this episode, we're doing the Kobe Japanese hibachi and sushi here in Fitzgerald, Georgia. Now, the, I start out with a status quo snapshot. These are unresearched examples. So when I'm doing the status quo snapshot, I like to just get a basic idea of what are the strengths and weaknesses and the opportunities and threats for this specific brand? And some of the ways that we look at that is, you know, the website, is it mobile? You know, what kind of a mobile experience are they providing for their customers or for people that are interested in their brand? Is there an e-commerce shopping cart available or included with the website? And just, you know, part of the overarching experience is that, as they see things they want to buy, they can buy them and it's a seamless, frictionless experience. And is there an email list for ongoing contact with each of the different customers? Check the social profiles. Main thing there is engagement. If they have a site, then the, I go to Mangold to run that site report, the Bright Local for local SEO reports. That can happen regardless of whether they have a website or not because uh, it'll look at all the different signals and the research builds out that strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Now that's the Kobe, which is two, three miles from here. And if you search, you can see like they have a 4.4 rating through 24 different ratings on Facebook and they have 61 Google reviews and that's a 4.4 out of five, you know, TripAdvisor and Foursquare and so forth, but they don't have anywhere to send all this juice to that's where the website would come in. So the goal of this strategy is to actually build out the brand and the revenue by building the website and then starting their efforts, building all their efforts from there. Because the way that I explain marketing is you have to get and keep attention. You get attention everywhere but your website, you keep attention on your website, in, which should include a store. Like you want your experience for people to be able to purchase from you as seamlessly and frictionlessly as humanly possible. It just makes sense. So, because we conduct most of our lives as far as through our smartphone these days. <clears throat> so that's the goal. The customer point of view, the people within 40 miles of the Kobe location, but really just starting by locking down the area and starting a conversation with people in the area to bring them back and let help people understand different ways where Kobe can step in and provide really good food in a very simple manner as far as for the family that's on the go or if it's for a work event or you know, whatever, right? So the problem is that frictionless access. That's not available currently and obviously it's a restaurant and you know it's in the walmart shopping center so obviously there is some decent foot traffic at least for fitzgerald but there isn't a website yet it well yeah i don't think there is again unresearched <laughs> so as far as the solution that's just to build that website right and so you then now anybody that would walk in they can just walk in and pick up and leave whereas now they have to go in and pay and some people will go in and look at the menu and be able to then they're going to pay and it just be a lot easier for people to get access if they were able to do everything through the website obviously the food's still going to be cooked in the kitchen right the place that they access it is it's the normal hours of hours of operation but then on top of that you have the website now and just less effort right the goal would be just letting people in the area know, hey, here it's affordable and it's something different. So the media plan, I'd start with just secrets of the Japanese hibachi and sushi. Just leverage the 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 interest around the topic, right? It's something different because we're talking about South Georgia here, Fitzgerald, Georgia. It's not there's not a, a big Asian influence overall. So the weekly show schedule, I definitely start weekly. And even just with the $50 a week budget, that's only for attention to this media that you're creating. This is specific to it. It's not, you know, trying to sell ads or whatever. This is brand building. So you're just, you're looking to get as many eyeballs that, you know, have given some signals, so to speak, that they would be interested, right? So,
if they've liked your page or if they visited your website or if they've ordered from you previously or you know if they've ordered from you x number of times previously etc so the media creation i like and it, this sounds very simplistic but there's obviously a lot of sub steps to these but the plan video i like to shoot the vi and i plan the video on my wall <laughs> but then it t it goes from there for me it goes into a slide deck however it happens you just want to play on the video and then shoot the video right and then obviously you have to edit it and then publish and distribute that video and that's fulfilling the media company strategy now the goal is that from that full length video that's the first deliverable but it's not the only deliverable there's a lot of additional deliverables where you're able to pull out different pieces of a say it's a 20 minute full length video you're able to pull out five different one minute pieces of that video and distribute those to different social networks and then you're able to pull out some images with a pull quote and you're able to put those on different social net you know so you're pulling a bunch of different deliverables it's just like with the buffalo with the american indians the way that they would use every part of the buffalo right it's it, it's kind of the same thing you you have this one main one and then you break out a bunch of pieces that all together, you know, comprise the full length one, right? So the distribution, the way that I tentatively always set it up is Wistia when I'm gonna put it on my website and then I upload natively otherwise to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. Anchor.fm for my audio and then the blog is just whatever your website.com is forward slash blog and I'm always using WooCommerce which is built on WordPress and I'm always using a Genesis child theme. So strategy foundation is the store. That's the that's what we're changing. Now they have that digital experience. They're, they're able to roll out to people. And it, it's not a ton of pieces to get started. Like you put your homepage together. What's the navigation menus? Make sure that all those pages are actually populated properly and look the way you want them to homepage widget areas if you're going to use the essence pro theme which is what i always use and there's a working demo for this so if you go to example-16 it's jasonobsllc.com forward slash example-16 scroll down you'll see a big green button to go check out the demo and it's a working demo you can sign up and you know so forth and your digital catalog is just you create the initial products and Obviously, building out your menu is a bit of an investment, but at the same time, once it's built out, now people can start to buy from it on your website. The the last part is you have to have your homepage, well, the navigation and you know those widget areas, etc., to get started. And you add as many pages as you want from there, and then you have your products within your shopping area, and then you have your media archive. So your video, audio, written, the website is the home base. So this is just a screenshot of the top of the demo that I threw together. And it's just putting what's important right in front of people, right? So let's make sure that they know, hey, this is the one that I was thinking about. And at the same time, when are they open? And then beyond that, let's let them order, right? So these are the, this is the bottom of that home page. The only thing left below is like the copyright. But you, you can go check it out. So the customer conversation, two ears, one mouth. I've add live chat and email just to round out the conversation between Kobe and their customers. The better that you're able to interact with people and the simpler you're able to make the act of actually feeding a group of people, then they're going to appreciate it, right? Because you're only gonna be dealing with people that are having to feed a group of people. In some instances, like with me, it's just, I have to feed myself right now, right? And then in other instances, they're feeding a group of 10 or five or whatever. But that's the relationship, that's the customer conversation that we would want to digitize, or not even digitize, well, yeah, digitize. Because we would just keep track of all of the interactions on the same timeline within Drift, which is the live chat and email email version. So the campaigns, I'd start with the origin story of the restaurant here. Who opened it? Why did they open it here? What what brought them to Fitzgerald? Tell that story, document that. And then from there, I'd make that email list to start. Like that's the big keeping attention version because now that you are able to email them and you're able to 
you know, set up your cart abandonment stuff. And you just, you have all of these different tools and you just keep it all on the same timeline. What you want is to be able to help Kobe understand their audience over time. So they're getting to, it's a customer intimacy marketing strategy. So the first thing I do is the local citations, just make sure that they all match hundred percent, make sure that you, they are listed where they need to be, that and get images as far as just, it, all you have to do is take images with your phone and those will be great. But just get some different images, make sure that it's lit to where people can actually see, right? And then you see the different people and they can see the food and it won't take a couple of hours as far as of one morning or something to get all the images that you need. And then brightlocal.com, you can use their builder service and you give them all the images and you give them the descriptions and whatever they need. And they make sure that across all of these different sites on the web, anytime that your information shows up for your business, then it'll be attributed by whatever search engine or site or whatever, it'll be attributed to your brand specifically. So that was example 16. How much would it cost? It'd be about 750 to start and then another 229 a month from there using Liquid Web. And obviously prices are gonna vary, but liquidweb.com, they're 39 bucks a month for their beginner plan for managed WooCommerce, drift.com for the live chat and email, Wistia for the video hosting and analytics, the gatherup.com, definitely have to have that. That's the customer feedback loop is how I describe it. It's a net promoter score or NPS score. And it's just sending them an email saying, would you share Kobe with people? in one to 10. And if they say one through eight, it puts them into what I call a customer service queue. And then a nine or a 10, it thanks them and then gives them shortcuts as far as just a button or whatever for whatever site they want to speak publicly about you. Yoast for some premium SEO plugin. For them, they may not need it as far as the Wisty. If they have a computer that has iMovie on it even, and a phone, and say an iPhone, I mean, the point is that they have a, a light video editing software and a solid phone. Like this is an older model of the iPhone, but it's able to shoot 4K videos. So you can get some really good stuff from it, right? All right. So if you have questions, Jason at jasonofsllc.com, or you can hit me on my iPhone. It's 912-381-6318. If I don't know, if I don't know who you are, then text me. If I don't know who you are, I'm not going to answer the phone. <laughs> I'm a bit busy, but I always check and I'll definitely get back with you ASAP if you leave me a name and number and just let me know what's up. And the next one is number 17. I have no clue what it's going to be, so you'll have to check in on Thursday.